Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I have a very much interesting video for you guys. Now you know that Pop OS is a great Linux distribution based on Ubuntu. Okay, and currently the Pop OS release is based on Ubuntu 22.04 and they skipped 22.10 version. But a big reason behind that because they are working now currently in their own cosmic desktop building. Basically, it will be Rust based. Rust is a great language and nowadays it is very popular. You know that Rust is the second language to build the Linux kernel. So Rust is popular due to its safety and speed. In this video, I will talk about that what are the features you will uh, see in the next release of Pop OS, maybe Pop OS 23.04. Alright, so before starting, you just do one thing, hit the like button, subscribe my channel, hit the notification bell icon. Okay, so let's start. Now System76 has released some of the preview of the next uh, Cosmic Desktop release in 2023. And new UI features, now you will get the segmented buttons, that means you will get a tabbed interface view. And you can see this is the this is the look of one of these. So you can choose vertical workspaces or horizontal workspaces and trackpad gestures of the four finger and you can see that. And this, these gestures are very much good. And also uh, in the settings you can easily search for a setting and you will get a scrollable uh, window. You can see a scrollable things of all the settings you will get here. Uh, this is the segmented button widget. So all the settings you can see now you will get a tabbed interface. You can see tab A, tab B and tab C. So like this you will get this. Okay. And in the power you can see that in the power settings. Suppose you have uh, connect, you have connected a mouse, wireless mouse or wireless uh, headphones, Bluetooth headphones. So you can see their uh, best battery percentage. Okay, so you can see that and also you are getting the uh, extended battery life, balanced and high performance mode and also limit battery charging. Okay, so you, you can uh, limit the battery charging to a uh, maximum of 80% of the maximum value. Okay, and also you can adjust some settings and you can see that is that is very very important. And now in the re regional language, uh, this setting uh, you can see that. Uh, you can uh, actually uh, choose the preferred language and, and many other things you can format from here. Uh, the region, the calendar, the date formatting, temperature, unit and uh, measurement system. Okay, so all things you can you can adjust here. And also some advanced uh, formatting you can you can see here, right? Now in the about section, when I talk about that about the system, so you can see this is the about section in the cosmic desktop. So device name is Pop OS and this is the hardware name, hardware model and this is the processor and you can see this is the graphics, disk capacity and operating system Pop 23.04 that will be the next release I think and operating system 64 bit and now the desktop environment is called cosmic and you can see it is in beta phase right uh, currently so this will not be the gnome this will be the cosmic desktop okay because uh, they are building their own desktop environment that is called cosmic and it is uh, rust based okay and the windowing system by default they will use wayland instead of x11 so this is a big change you can see now coming to the display and you can see a new things added in the display uh, settings. So now graphics mode and you can switch the graphics mode from the display settings. Okay, so basically uh, main you have uh, three options. One is integrated graphics that is the integrated GPU. One is uh, the NVIDIA or uh, whatever uh, GPU, the dedicated GPU and one is hybrid graphics. That means uh, all the application will, will by default uh, use the integrated GPU but some special application uh, will run through the uh, dedicated GPU. Okay, so three graphics mode you can easily switch from here. Also, you can turn on the night light and you can you can arrange the uh, display arrangement so if you have uh, multiple monitors suppose your laptop is connected to an external display so you can enable mirroring okay so you can see that you can actually uh, set up differently 
for the different screen so suppose you are running in the 15 inch laptop display so you can uh, you can just uh, set these things resolution refresh rate and the scale orientation color profile color depth and all these things you can separately adjust for the 27 uh, inch external display suppose external uh, monitor is connected now coming to the sound settings now you can see uh, you can adjust the output volume and 100% uh, is marked here you can see that okay so you can uh, amplify uh, more than that and also you can now choose the output device that is uh, suppose you have connected uh, some external speaker okay so built-in speaker and external speaker uh, you can switch between them and you can test it from here and also you can see the output level okay and uh, and now also in the input you can choose uh, the input device so suppose uh, the internal inbuilt microphone or some external microphone if you have connected uh, then you can switch from here okay so that is very very effective uh, way uh, to adjust uh, the input and output devices uh, and alerts you can manage and you can uh, choose the level of the sound uh, and alert sound you can you can just uh, different type of alert sound uh, you are getting here and also you can adjust the application sound and you can see uh, suppose uh, many applications are running a music player a video player and the system sound so all all the volumes uh, you can adjust from here so that is very very beautiful and very very uh, effective now coming to the wallpapers now you can see uh, the wallpaper section has redesigned and you can see uh, that uh, you can use the same uh, wallpaper for all the desktop or you can uh, do separate uh, you can set separate wallpapers for the separate uh, virtual desktop and you can see you can uh, fit the background uh, with some options and also you can choose slideshow uh, to actually uh, auto changing wallpapers and some new wallpapers will be added uh, you can see that and basically uh, you, you you will get a preview of the wallpaper here you can see that and also you can choose colors different colors as wallpapers you can you can basically add or remove some wallpapers uh, from here also you can see that and you can choose wallpapers uh, for your uh, external display also separately so separate wallpapers you can actually assign and now uh, I think uh, you can see that system 76 uh, has uh, created a ICED uh, diren this is the dynamic renderer and that will what uh, what it will do basically if you have a dedicated uh, GPU so it will uh, use the OpenGL or uh, Vulkan drivers and if you don't have a GPU then it will uh, just uh, run soft buffer okay so 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 this will be chosen by this uh, by this package ICED diren so this is dynamic rendering and uh, software rendering uh, you can see that and cosmic text and soft buffer and lib cosmics these these are the new uh, new packages you can see now very interesting thing is the x to x wayland now uh, you know that uh, um, up to now uh, uh, pop os are using the x11 desktop but uh, in the next release they will use the wayland okay but wayland is a new compositor of course so some application may not run properly in the wayland session and and for that x wayland comes into play okay now x wayland this will actually add a compatibility layer to the applications uh, so that you can actually uh, use those application in the wayland session so so cosmic com this is the this is the compositor for the cosmic desktop so that's very much good and animations the cosmic time this is the animation package uh, they are building okay so that will be very very nice okay and all things are in the development period okay so uh, now maybe the next release of the pop os is after the uh, june 2023 i think so after the release of the ubuntu 23.04 so if this video is helpful for you so hit the like button okay and also subscribe my channel hit the notification bell icon so thanks everyone for watching my video and see you in the next video very soon till then take care and goodbye